Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to talk about my newest and favorite Glock. Now for years, I've considered the Glock 26 my favorite Glock. I think it's great. 3.4 inch barrel, subcompact. This was once referred to as a baby Glock. You don't hear it being called the baby Glock much anymore. They, they have the 43 and the 43X. And they sort of dropped the name Baby Glock from the 26. But a lot of people will tell me, and have told me, that this is their favorite Glock too. You can put those higher cap mags in there. And overall, it's a nice carry gun. And I, I have carried this on occasion, and I like the way it performs. Gives you the full size feel. And then there's the Glock 19. Everybody knows the Glock 19. This at one time was... The most popular CCW handgun in America. A lot of people carry and continue to, but I don't know if it's the most popular, but it was for, for many years, the Glock 19. They like the reliability. They like everything that you could do with the aftermarket support. So everybody knows and seems to appreciate the Glock 19. But what is my newest favorite? Well, here it is. The Glock 45 MOS. The Glock 45 was introduced in 2018, but they came out a year later at the NRA show with the MOS model. And this is what this is. Now, what I appreciate that Glock did was put mounting plates in the case. That is not the case with all of the MOS versions, modular optic system. But they, they do that with the G45. Nice overall handgun. You have a longer grip there. You get a great feel. Certainly three finger contact plus some and 17 round mags. Now, if we look at the Glock 19 on the right, we will see the difference. Quite a bit of difference. Adds two additional rounds. And I don't know about quite a bit of difference, but a noticeable difference. The upper is essentially the same, like a Gen 5 Glock with the forward serrations, 4-inch barrel, but of course it's cut for an optic. The trigger pull remains the same, and that's one of the things I want to change out is the trigger. Okay, After you shoot it for quite a bit, that... You know, the, the people have said that that feels like squeezing a staple gun, and, and I understand what they're saying. I want to change out the trigger, make it... Maybe a little bit nicer. They, they, there are so many aftermarket triggers out there you can put on there. Does have one slot pick rail. Everything else is very similar to the Glock 19 with the exception of the MOS and the longer grip. And the heavier texturing, those who are used to some of the Gen 3 models has more mild texturing. This has heavier texturing. Comes with two back straps. You're looking at right around between 620 and 650 for the MOS version. The optic I went with is a Swamp Fox Justice, and it has an RMR footprint. And one of the things I like about this, it's a variety of optics. You really have a large choice of optics to choose from when you have these four plates. So Glock did a good job with that, and I went with the Justice. What I like about the Justice, the Swamp Fox Justice, is... Not only an RMR cut, I don't care about that, but it's aluminum housed. It is Shake Awake 3 MOA dot, and the battery compartment is on top of the optic, so you don't have to take it off to replace the battery. They did they did very a nice job with that. I, th I think that's an advantage. What I don't like is that there is no cutout to co-witness with the stock sights. So that if you can live with that, this is a great optic, and it's priced well. Swamp Fox. Never thought too much about him, but Ryder from Ryder's Range had Swamp Fox and some of his handguns. I shot him and I said those are those are pretty nice optics. So paid right around 200 bucks to, to get this Swamp Fox Justice. Nice clear glass. I got the taller model too. They they have a 1x22mm and a 1x27, 20, I believe. Yeah, I, I went with that. Anyhow. So that is the Glock 45 MOS. Happy to have it. Took it to the range. It shot great. I, I had no issues at all with any type of failures. I, I didn't even clean it. I took it right to the range. Pretty common. And that is what Glock is known for.
I also picked up a couple holsters. This is a JX Tactical outside the waistband. Why not go outside the waistband? You know, we're always shoving guns in our pants and, and kind of makes it a little uncomfortable when we're, we're out and about. I, I don't know. I've been doing that for years myself. But in the winter, outside the waistband all day long. Why not? This is an OD Green JX Tactical holster. And I think it's a good looking holster in OD Green. And I also got one of their Fat Boy models. Now the reason this is a Fat Boy is because it has these straps on there. So it adds a little additional room for a girthy gut, if you will. But nice setup too they also give a clip i don't consider myself a fat boy i've had my day i have to say i have but perhaps i've done better in my later years and these will also work with the glock 19 but i am happy with this i, I plan to change the trigger stick with the swamp fox justice and everything else is good i don't need to mess around with the magazine release or the slide stop it works fine i do want to get on the scale however to see the difference between this and the glock 19 so we'll go ahead and do that the 45 mos is weighing in at let me turn this light off one pound eight and seven ounces we move that to just ounces 24 and seven eighths ounces here are 18 rounds I like that 17 round mag. I've always wanted this actually. Originally I wanted the 19X, but when they came out with this, I said, you know what? It's just as good. 32 and a half. But if we put the 19 on there, the same round count, 31 and a half. So it's one ounce heavier than the Glock 19. Plus this has an optic on there and that weighs at least an ounce. So pretty, pretty cool how Glock did that, and you know, it, 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 overall, it, I think it's a nicer package. I like the option. If you don't like the optic, whatever, you can throw the plate back on, but the additional capacity, the additional real estate to, to grip the gun, additional back straps, forward serrations, it's an updated Glock 19 with a longer grip is basically what it is, and it's MOS, so Glock did a great job with it. I'm happy to have it. This is my newest and favorite Glock and give it a try you know you see if you see if you like it you're into nine millimeter shooting i've owned so many glocks i can't even begin to tell you i've owned a ton of them but this one is doing it for me at this moment and honestly i really don't see anything changing in the formidable future if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe